Hey friends, welcome back for part two. I will link part one of my two part series of a rainy day shop with me videos. I will be linking part one down in the description. So go ahead and give that a watch and then head back and watch part two. So the first step uh, we're gonna do is wash all of our produce that we purchased at the store. Whether you have organic produce or conventional produce, it is so essential to wash and dry properly, air dry your produce. So it is the easiest thing to do. You do not need any fancy special produce cleaner. I just use baking soda and water. I basically put the produce in the bowl. I cover the produce with baking soda. As you can see, it's maybe two tablespoons and then fill it up with water. Once the produce is covered with water, I just kind of give it a little swish around with my hand and I just leave it alone for 20 minutes and let it do its job. And it is the easiest process that I've found in properly cleaning produce. So once your berries or produce has soaked for about 15 to 20 minutes in your baking soda water solution, go ahead and put them in the strainer and give them a good rinse. Now this is the water after we soaked the strawberries. I mean, that is not that appealing. It is quite filthy. So please be sure to wash your produce before you consume it. So with the berries or produce inside the strainer, I go ahead and just give them an additional rinse and then I lay them out to dry on a clean kitchen towel linen. I pretty much do the same steps for all the produce that I'm going to be putting in these charcuterie boxes. With the exception with the grapes, I'll actually clip these into little bushels just because it's a nice portion for the box. Um, I don't necessarily like to do loose grapes. I do like to keep them on the vine. I think it looks so pretty and adds like just a little sweet touch. So I'm just washing and prepping all of my produce and laying them out so they can air dry on a kitchen towel. Now you don't have to add this, but I did add a little sprig of rosemary. I just love the fresh touch of fresh herb. The best thing about creating these boxes is you can totally get creative and choose any kind of produce of your choice. I just have so much fun making these boxes. So here's a list of the packaging supplies that you'll need. I will add everything down in the description for you. So these forks are so adorable and I will link where you can get them, but you know, you can also get them at like a dollar store in the wedding section. So when I make these charcuterie boxes, I definitely like to lay everything out so I know what I'm working with and so everything can be very precise. Each box look the same, have the same amount, that sort of thing. And this is what one box will contain. So from here, we just start building. So you go ahead and put on a pair of food grade gloves because you'll be working with the food. And I just like to line the box with some parchment paper. And then I just start building the box. So from here, we just start building the box. What I like to do is make one box exactly how I want it to look and I will just kind of copy and paste that style to each box using it as a guide so I know where everything goes and how I want it to look and uh, the final product. And this is my beautiful salami rose and I will link my video tutorial on how to make one of these. It is such a beautiful, fun thing to do and it's so easy guys. Like it is such an easy thing to make and gives such a beautiful impact in these boxes. So 
so there you have it this is the final box this is what the charcuterie boxes look like i am so pleased with how they turned out Now that our boxes are all packaged up, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up and add the final touches, which are the honey stick and the fork. What I like to do is just kind of get a little knot started and in between this circle, I will add in the honey stick and the fork and then just lock it off with a knot and a bow. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Besitos and blessings.